Video? No. Oh. No. No way. Can you hear that? Is it not safe? Ghost Dimension. Tonight we investigate a haunted inn set in the heart of Newark. It dates back to the 1400s and has seen many people pass through its doors over the centuries. Hiding deep below the building is an entrance to a network of tunnels which are said to run through Newark. The locals all admit that they know about the tunnels, however, the local authorities will not admit they exist. Welcome to Ghost Dimension as we prepare to investigate the Rutland Arm. Here at the Rutland Arms, I believe you're going to show us around. Yeah, yeah. Um, whenever you're ready, I'll uh, take on a bit of a talk. Yeah, ask a few questions, find yeah. out a bit of a history of the place. Yeah. Yeah, brilliant. Let's That's go. That's great. Lovely. Okay, guys. Um, this is what's known as the dark cellar or the small cellar. Hi. Um, it's a sort of separated. Uh, from the rest of the building. It used to be a little shop at one time. Uh, and we would feel that this cellar here was probably a lot older than the rest of the building upstairs. Mm -hmm. And therefore there's a lot more activity. And of course, there's a tunnel that goes out and away. Have you ever had any personal experiences in here? Yeah, um, with the team um, about three summers ago, we had, um, and invest down here and we were all sat in the dark and it was literally was the calm before the storm because we were sat down here and we heard an almighty fight break out upstairs there was chairs being thrown uh, people shouting and swearing uh, women screaming glasses being broken and we thought oh my god we're, we're better off down here world war three is breaking out yeah. up there and um so we, we were quite happy to stay here then the atmosphere in here changed and the mood changed and basically I then went off into trance. That was right. about there. Um, the other medium on the team over there could see what was going off. She was asking her guys what's going off and her guy said, you better start saying the Lord's Prayer now. So then everybody started saying the Lord's Prayer. Whatever was inside of me, didn't like it, came screaming out. When I came out of trance, there were people crying, there was people shaking and everything else. Um, and it was a right mess. And we have got this recorded yeah. on, on a disc, because somebody happened to have a, a sort of a, a personal recorder. And so we, it is actually recorded. Up there was utterly calm, and we couldn't understand it. And then the landlord was going, you yeah, all right, folks? Well, it sounded like World War III was breaking out up here. So we described it, and he went, no, nothing like that. Oh, hang on a minute. What you're describing happened 24 hours previous. Yeah, so it's so, like replayed. Yeah, the building had kind of recorded it and then when the atmosphere was right, literally, it replayed it back and we've got it on recording. I think they're coming visitation. I don't really? think they're, they're, they're grounded here. Yeah. They're certainly having a, uh, an association, whatever that association historically is, I'm not quite sure, yeah. but I think certainly they travel through the tunnels. I think that's their way of getting around the town. Well, the, there's tunnels as well. Mm -hmm. So there's a tunnel over here, just behind this wall. It goes so far and then it's bricked up. Blocked off. Yeah. Um, I believe the, uh, like the local authorities around here don't admit that these No, no, they don't. They don't. And, and the, there was a thing in the, in the newspaper about 18 months, two years ago, mm -hmm. um, where there was a big kerfuffle about it. Um, but so many people who have um, had anecdotal evidence of their own yeah. experiences yeah. Um, say, they're there. Why would they? Yeah. Why would they? Why would they? Uh, I, I don't. I don't know whether. I don't know whether they want the fuss or, or whether they want the um, sort of to acknowledge it or that they were wrong and people were right. I don't know. I, I, you'd have to ask them. So 
So you call this the main basement? Uh, yeah, main basement or cellar, yeah. Uh, uh, the pub is you know, purposely built for for, for the, um, the hotel, whereas the place wasn't. Yeah. So, um, and you can tell in here that the walls are thicker mm -hmm. straight away because there's no background noise coming in from the outside. Yeah. Which, would this, I don't know if you know or not, is this an older building? No, I, I think where we were Before, in the small that cellar, older. That was that, that's older. Um, I think this was purposely built for at the same time, um, I'm not a historian, yeah. so I wouldn't know the history. Um, this was built at the same time as the hotel, which there was, and you know, purposely built for the job. So what experiences have you felt or had in here? Um, again, um, this is not as intense as, as the, uh, the small cellar where we've been, right. um, but there's certainly activity down here. I've certainly in the past um, picked up on a, a barman or a cellar man from probably about the, the early 1900s who very much made this known that this was his domain, this space, um, and picked up on a, on a boy with, who then you would have called back, we would call, say, special needs now. Yeah. Probably going back uh, again about 1920s. Um, he seems to be in and around, I think he died in an accident somewhere near here. That's the impression we were given. And certainly other teams who have been here have picked up stuff and, and, and there's a, a little cellar cage around there where they, they keep um, Spirits and wines, I suppose. Yeah, sure. Um, and an orb was seen going in and out really? of that. It captured on somebody's camera phone nice. uh, on a tour down here. What was down here? Yeah, this, this very cage here. Oh, wow. So, uh, as, the, as the medium and the guy, the tour guide, was bringing them around, one said, Oh, look at that. And, and the thing was literally bobbing and weaving Even in and out, in and out wow. as, it, as it went down. It's amazing. So do you, have, do you know why this star would be here? I have no idea. Um, and, and we've asked it a couple of times and, and nobody seems to know that question yeah. either. So uh, we're a bit flummoxed. So it could be some sort of protection. It could be protection. I mean, somebody was of, of the uh, Jewish persuasion uh, and faith, they, they could well be uh, you know, connected to that. Or it could have a more practical use on, on something else. But nobody has been able to give us a Definite answer. Definite answer on that one. Our team now set up and get ready to investigate this fantastic location, the Rutland Arms. But what could be haunting this place? What will we find tonight? Will any of the spirits communicate with us? With its many tunnels leading to the church, with its corridors leading to the rooms, are any of the ghosts wandering this place? Unbeknown to us, in Edit, we spotted a figure that appears to look like a monk passing through some of the windows as we were setting up the VTs for Bex. Could this be a monk that is connected to the church that used the hidden tunnels beneath this building? So we're now in the what is it? Is this, this it's a dark, dark cellar? Isn't cellar. It? Yeah. We have an obelisk. We have a REM pod behind Sean. A REM pod in a tunnel that way. I've just heard a bang, and a shadow detector in that little hole there. If so if goes anything in. goes across, it's going to go off and make a noise. I'm just going to turn this obelisk on. Dictionary mode. Dictionary mode. Um, should we do a bit of calling out and see if we can encourage that spirit to interact? Yeah, to interact. The spirit that uh, channeled Paul and was a little bit mean. Yeah. Yeah. Do you want to do? It? How about you sitting in that chair? Do you want to sit in that chair? I just just see how you feel, because that's where Paul. Where got. he felt something before. Yeah. That's where something yeah. entered yeah. him, isn't it? Maybe call out and ask some questions. Holiday. 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 Do you feel like you've gone on a holiday? Can't say. Will Sean feel like he's gone on a holiday when he's when he sits in this chair? Do you come into this place? Is this where you visit? Did you hear that? Yeah, I did. That was like scraping. That came. I thought that came from in there. It was like a scraping like that, wasn't it? Yeah. Well, then, How were you feeling in that chair? I'm not feeling too bad at the moment. Okay. But in there. Yeah. Where that um, ramp on is, the shadow detectors. Yeah. There was dead bodies in there. 
Yeah, these are stored dead bodies. We don't know if it was dead bodies of people or well, animals. Apparently, according to um, what they said, apparently, yeah. it was people. Okay. What was that? That was the REM pod. Went off. Is that you affecting the REM pod? Can you tell us your name on this device that I'm holding? Coming up on Ghost Dimension. <sighs> that was something in there. What's the lady going to do to us? She wants a man. Are you not a very nice man? Listen, did you, did you hear that? that? I did. That was a voice. If I... Change? Change. What changed you to make you an angry man? Tell us right now, right here. I'm going to get a voice recorder on as well. The EVP. Going to put an EVP? Something just made a noise as well. I heard that. Like a beep noise, was it the... It could have had a... Lay. You want somebody to lie down? Well, we can't lay down in here. This was your last resting place. Oh. This is dead bodies in there. This was your last resting place? Of course, and that's why you're angry. Can you communicate to this EVP device? Tell us who you are. Placebo. Placebo? Were you given something and you thought it was a placebo and it didn't help? And you died that way? Records. Records. Records were burned. There was a fire in this place, wasn't there? Yeah. In 1898, and the record, all the records were burned and So any lost. records have been being here? So any Why records of this here? man being here? Well, they've been lost. So if this is his last resting place, nobody will, will have known. And that's what makes you so angry? Did you hear that? No. <sighs> that was something in there. Are you in here? Oh, my God. What There's a think? shadow. Like a white, like a white fog. Honestly, <coughs> Zero. Zero. Oh, 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 oh. Did you hear that? Did you hear it? Did you hear it? You're banging there. Yes. Yeah. Clear as day. Did you hear that? Yeah. You wouldn't have caught that on the camera. It's okay. The EVP no, might have picked it up. Are you in there? Property. Is this your property? Is this your property? Do you deem this is your property? Sorry, has there been any property left behind? Did you hear that whistle? Oh, Are you in here? Can you give us some more signs? Touch this machine. Touch sure. How are you feeling? Feel a bit, a bit weird, a bit weak. Do you want to stop? No. Fly. Do you fly around here? Oh, it looks like there's a face out there, doesn't it? Can you see that? Looks like there's a face out there. What's your name? A spirit appears to have attached itself to Sean and is now using his body as a vessel to communicate with me and Nicola. I think Sean's so channeling. Say that again. That wasn't me. Who was that? Joseph. And why are you so angry? No. So you're not an angry man? It's another man. There's noise out there. You get me in here. 
what was the other man's name? How did you die? Stand up if you want. when you were in there, or were you dead? I was brought here. Will um, you tell, tell us more about your story? I didn't die here. Where did you die? Were you brought to this property? I was. Is there more people in here? Right now? No. Down the tunnels? Yeah. How many people are in this room as well as you? Zero. Zero? Oh, I said zero before, didn't I? Yeah. You mustn't stay. Why? The man will come. There's somebody else. The man will come. Which man? Tell us more. The bad man. The, the mean man. He doesn't want you here. He doesn't know who you are. Do you have a name? Do you know what the man's called? We'll tell him who we are. Go. No. Go. Believe me. We're not going to go from this Believe place. Believe me. Tell us more about you. Who you are. We don't want to know. Cool, of course. We need to go. No, we're not going to go. Is the man here? Lay. You need to lay. I got to. Why are you going back in there if you don't want to go in there? Why so many questions? Do you know the man's name? Do you? No. He doesn't want you here. Should we leave? You should. Is it not safe? How did they treat people? They kept us here. In there. And what did they do to you when you were in there? Oh, yes. There's a lady that knows. She's here. She's here. And what's the lady going to do to us? She in there? Oh, Nicola! She's gone. <gasps> no! Listen. There's two bags in there. Is that her in there now? She's in there now. She's looking for a She's man, did you say? A man or you? Was she sent here? Because the scent on this device now. Do you hear that? What's that? Where are you going? Where are you going? She's come for the man. Were they a couple? <sighs>
coming up next. Is anyone down there? Can you tell me your name? No way. He said hi. During our investigation in the basement, a spirit attached itself to Sean and used his body to communicate with our team. After a quick break, we met up with Paul, who took us to one of the haunted rooms in the hotel, room nine. Okay, um, this is room nine. Um, there's been reported activity uh, happening here. Um, sort, of, uh, sort of a lot of banging. As Paul was talking to us about what happens in room nine, we can clearly hear in edit a whimper. Was this a spirit trying to communicate with us? Um, sort of, uh, sort of a lot of, um, sort of, uh, sort of a lot of, sort of, uh, sort of a lot of banging and, and um, sort of carrying on. And somebody from next door apparently reported uh, and com went downstairs and complained about about the noise coming from this room when obviously there was nobody in this room. So nobody was checked in here. No, um, we believe it's a gentleman. Yeah. Uh, it's sort of the male energy that we've, we've picked up on. Have Just you me. ever caught anything yourself in this room? I haven't caught anything, in, but I have sensed this uh, this particular individual. Um, in fact, I ran my hand over the, the bed and picked up uh, some energies. Yeah. Um, it could just be letting himself be known. Yeah, this yeah. was his room. Yeah. yeah. So it's still quite packed full of his energy. Packed full of his energy and also him not quite wanting to move on. Leave. Yeah. So, yeah, apart from it. Um, so, yeah, he's, he's around and about. Dave, Dave, let me back to downstairs. It's amazing. What we want you to do now is go down to basement two. Yeah, this is semi light yeah. basement. Low and yeah. your you're filling? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, get some equipment, get a K2 and a voice box. PSB 11? Yeah, that's it. Camera, go for it. Go yeah. around. Yeah, that's yeah. really yeah. 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 good. Okay. Nicola and I decided to investigate room nine on our own while Dave was investigating down in the cellars. Would anybody attempt to communicate with us in room nine? Would Dave speak to any of the spirits that may be lurking in the cellars? Tight staircase. Already I've got quite a heavy feeling down here. There's quite a few pipes in that bang that you heard then could have just been. Uh, wall cooling, pipes cooling. Bex, we picked up on the ovulus um, near room nine a message saying girl which be, could be connected to the. Uh, well, so there was a noise and I don't know what it is, it just sounded like a fan. Could be, could be normal. But... If you're here with us now, can you speak to this device? Give us a word. Let you us... small child, a little girl. Already a bang above me. Even though must be a good couple of feet thick these really old ceilings, proper old pub cellar, so you shouldn't hear any footsteps from above. It's really dark down there. So some equipment that I've got with me. I've got a REM pod. So I'm going to put the REM pod down, set that up. Are you here? Did you pass in this room? Come in. really cold. You got really cold? Yeah, my shoulders are cold. Between. between. Are you between us? Or are you between the people on the camera? Can you let us know, are you here by touching somebody? You seem to have dropped the temperature in the room. Can I say then, above us, there was banging. banging. But there is no above us. Did you hear that then? Yeah. I heard a bang then. It's like somebody's heavy footed. Yeah. 
Was that you walking above us? It's just attic space above us. Are you between us and the roof? Are you wanting to pass over but can't? Are you here for a reason? Hello? Is there anyone down here? Can you tell me your name? Fred? Dave had clearly picked up somebody on the PSB 11 named Fred. Was this spirit trying to communicate with Dave? Your name's Fred. Tell you what, I've got a cake on the wrong. Fred? Is that you? Okay, we've got a device here. If you speak to it, we'll be able to hear your voice when we play it back. My arm feels really heavy. That's <laughs> really heavy. Yeah, like it's like I'm being pulled down. Is that you affecting Nicola? That was like a. That was. A, did you hear that? A lucky girl's voice going. Wee! Yeah, you heard that. Nicola and I had clearly picked up on a spirit voice trying to communicate with us. What was this spirit trying to say to us? Did you pick that up, Jay? Well? Definitely picked some up over here, yeah. Can you speak to us? Tell us your name. Do you have a message for me? Definitely heard the voice then. What's your name? Come and speak into this box. Can you tell me your name please? Use your voice and communicate to us. Hi. 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 No way. You said hi. Hello, how are you? Are you happy? Can you say anything else for us? No way. It's banging in there. Above us again. Is that you? Can you tell us and talk? Can... It is above us, isn't it? Jay, can you just pan the camera out of that room? Just see if it's anybody there. You'll have to just grab the middle of the door. And you'll see a hole. That's one. Zoo. Yet? Nope, there's nobody here. It's completely empty. Can you, can you tell us how old you are? Either by using the Ovilus device if you speak to it or manipulate the words or speak to us via this device and use your voice. Did you just feel that? A cold breath of air? Mm. I didn't know. I think I got a response then on the uh, PSP 11. Is that you? Setting his ramp on off.
Are you affecting my equipment? I think you like using that, do you? Make the lights flash on this box for me. Hello. Can you communicate with us through the devices? You're making the corner of the room go really cold. Can you make it go really hot? As Nicola and I were investigating room nine, another spirit person clearly made contact with us. We could not work out what this spirit said, but it was clearly audible in the edit. Can you communicate with us through the devices? Can you communicate with us through the devices? Coming up. The REM pod on the bar is now flashing. Really? Let's go downstairs. Let's go downstairs. Let's go downstairs. Okay. Is that picking up? <gasps> look, look, look on the camera. What? <gasps> oh my god! As soon as Nicola and Sean had finished their investigation in room 9, all the REM pods started going off, which we were alerted to by the hub. Right, we need to send somebody up there now to room 9. Don't let us go. Oh, yeah. It's still going. It's still going. Yeah. You see that across the bed there? No, what? What happened? Oh, it all came out of the bed here and went like that. <laughs> room 9 is, and this is where the REM pod's been going off. So we're gonna go in. You want me to go in first? Yeah. Do you know what I'm gonna do? Switch my torch on. The door, um, as we were all in the hub, we all saw the REM pod go off. So now we've came up to investigate. Have you brought the... Uh... I've got the ovulus. We're going to see what comes up on this. Are you in here? You made the REM pod go off. Can you do it again? Make this device go off again. Lay. No. Oh. He wants us to lay on a bed, and we we're not going to lie on this bed. We can't lay on the bed um, at the minute. Can I just say? Sorry. Whoever's got a camera, Jay, mm -hmm. is that vibrating, moving back and forth? It looks like it. It does look like it is. Yeah, it's moving. It's moving. Ever so slow. So you're on the bed. Is that moving or is that just my eyes? Uh, I'm picking up that moving. <gasps> oh! Okay. Did you see that? Okay. And the one oh, behind you, Jeff? Behind. Turn your light off. What was that voice? What was that voice? During our investigation, it was clear and apparent that we'd all heard a voice. What we heard next shocked us to the core. Turn your light off. What was that voice? What was that voice? Turn your light off. What was that voice? What was that voice? You can clearly hear the name Joseph. Was this the spirit that had attached himself to Sean earlier in the basement? Tell us your name. Joseph. 
Joseph. Book to team. The rempot on the bar is flashing. The rempot on the bar is now flashing. Really? Let's go downstairs. Let's go downstairs. Let's go downstairs. Let's go downstairs. Okay. Okay, we're on our way. Video. Oh, oh. No. No, no way. way. Oh my god. Video you caught. Did we catch that on video? Downstairs. It knew. And it's gone off? I do have um, some CCTV set up on the bar, so we should have caught it. Right, okay. So it knew we were video, yeah. and then it went off here. We also have a locked off camera over there, so that's in the hub. Brilliant. Yes. Let's go down to the bar and we'll see what we get. Can you hear that? Do you know what we should do here? This is a big area. Yeah. Let me grab the SLS. Okay, yeah. Yeah? While Sean goes back to the hub to get that, we're going to go and do a little investigate. Yeah, that's the camera. Where's the rim pod, you know? Is this oh, here. Here it is. Here it is. Oh, yeah. So, this is the rem pod that went off while we were upstairs in room nine. <coughs> There's a dripping noise behind the bar. Yeah. So now we're in the hut, now we're in the, oh, no way. Okay, so you've got us here. Tell us on this device what you want us to know. Do I have to reset that for it to go off? Can you turn that off? Oh, thank you very much. Okay. So now you've got us here, we've got this device still. Tell us something on this. Are you the same person we were talking to upstairs? Of course. Of course. It's a different type of course. It is, isn't it? Yeah. Are you the same person from the basement? Did you hear that? It was like a laugh. Coming behind coming from behind Jay. What's this device called? This is let me get a light over here, let me see if I can see anybody. Stand back a tiny bit. There's something there, isn't there? Pig. So it's picking up something. Something. But we don't know what. There's not really a figure there, to be honest, at the minute. Just check over there. Okay. Need yeah, let's follow Sean around and see what else we pick up. Are you still? Do we need to reset that? I think we might need to reset it, although it turned oh, off. Oh, Can you stop it. that now? <gasps> Something just ran across there. Where? Something small, like a dog, ran that way towards the hull. Should I go and reset that? Mm. Maybe it's point. going off when we're asking it a certain question. And I'll point it at the, at the REM pod, just in case we okay. capture. Can you give us something else on this, or appear on this? Walk in front of this device. Disaster. And did you, did anybody hear that? Yes. I As it said disaster and here, the there was yeah. a chair that moved. Okay. Did you hear that? I heard the noise over that's, there. That's so behind there. Sure. There's somebody in there. Let's just check this. Can you hear that? That's in there, to your isn't left. it? It's in the Okay, we're gonna step. Two steps. Deplete. Deplete. You in here now? Pardon? Rabbit. Rabbit. Okay. Do we look like scared rabbits? Or are we following the right rabbit? The REM pod's going off again. Is 
observe. Observe? You're observing us. <gasps> that makes sense. Because it was looking at us. And it says observe. And it peeked around the corner. Can you pick that corner? up, Jane? Is that picking up? <gasps> look, the look, look on the camera. <gasps> oh my God. Oh my God. I got something up the wall there. You see it? What? Yeah. Okay, so you're here. Okay, I can see someone on the wall. Oh, it's gone. It's gone. Come back. We're not afraid anymore. Come back. What the hell was that? The REM pod, yeah, the REM pod won't it's stop going not off. Stopped. It's not stopped at all. Is there more? More of you around here than just one? He said count, didn't he? Bottle? No. He knows we're in a bar. Bottle? Bottle. We're in a bar. Bar, bottles, wash. Did you hear that? Uh, that sounded like a squeak. It did. Like a, like a door. Are you in this bar with us right now? I definitely got something up there. REM pod's going off. It's crazy. Did you used to like drinking out of a bottle? Is that how you met your death? Through the bottle? Come on, give us something else. I can hear keys. Can you hear Keith? Yeah, that's what I'm looking for. Did you hear that? Like a hum? Yeah, did you hear that over hum. there? I think there's more people in here. Yeah. I think we've experienced a lot. We've had a, a few pieces of equipment. Yeah. Gone off the <laughs> story. I've just said, tell us your story upstairs. And the REM pod's going off. <laughs>